Welcome to the Car Comparos. Today we will be comparing the Renault Quaid versus Maruti Suzuki Alto 800. Pricing and features. The Alexa is by far the most popular variant of the Alto 800, which retails at 3.11 lakh ex showroom Delhi. For exactly the same price, you can buy the RXL variant of the freshly launched Renault Quaid for 3.12 lakh rupees. In fact, you even can get a factory fitted music system with Bluetooth in the Quaid RXL, which is not available in the Alto LXI. This makes the Quaid ten thousand rupees cheaper than an equivalent Alto eight hundred. With this fantastic pricing, Renault really has given an opportunity to compact car buyers to move away from the decades of old Alto. Performance and drivability. Both cars are powered by the tiny 800 cc engines. However, the Quaid being a lighter car, it has a slight advantage over the Alto 800 in terms of overall performance. Both cars have a decent drivability around town, but the Quaid has a slightly stronger mid-range than the Alto, which comes in handy when the roads open up. However, the Alto 800 feels a bit more refined than the Quaid. Fuel efficiency. The Quaid has an ARAI certified mileage of 25.17 kilometers per liter, which is 2.43 kilometers per liter more than the Alto 800's fuel efficiency of 22.74 kilometers per liter. However, in our fuel efficiency tests, both cars returned identical fuel efficiency. Space and comfort. One parameter where the Quaid has comprehensively outdone the Alto is in terms of sheer expanse of space available inside the cabin. It has significantly better headroom, knee room, and shoulder room, be it in the front seat or the rear. Especially the rear seat has more than adequate room to seat three full adults, as opposed to the Alto where seating three passengers at the rear is no less than a punishment. But that's not all. The Quaid also has one of the biggest boots in the segment, which is at 300 liters, feels almost twice as big as the Alto's 117 liters. Both the cars have typical low-cost Japanese interiors, which don't feel premium but are bolted together to last a lifetime. Ride quality and handling. Quaid's 180 mm of ground clearance makes it much more suitable to Indian road conditions than the Alto 800. Both cars do have surprisingly pliant ride quality. Neither of the two cars is adept at cornering, but the Alto 800 has a slight advantage due to its lower CG, which is certainly not worth the immense compromise in space and comfort that having a small cabin has cost. Reliability and after sales, Maruti reigns supreme in offering the best service support in our country. Renault still has a long way to go to even come close to the Maruti. Also, the Quaid has a brand new powertrain and Renault's poor showing in Europe's quality surveys like the JDP. It is prudent to exercise caution and adopt a wait and watch policy for the first 6 months before you put down the money for the Quaid. With its 200 odd dealers, Renault might not have the sheer reach that the Maruti's 2000 plus dealers have. but Renault does have multiple dealers in all major cities across country there's bound to be hardly any difference between the resale price of both cars after an ownership period of 5 to 7 years making them more or less similar in terms of cost of ownership and now for the verdict we believe quid is better than the alto 800